Hi, hi. Once again, my favorite part, just as I go live and you just never know if anybody's going to show up. And it's okay because I can amuse myself easily. So I'm Jody Corrington. I'm your Talk Couture Independent Designer. Ooh, somebody's here. I just saw one. <laughs> I don't know who yet, but so this is what we did yesterday. Real cute, nice little tray. And hi, Sherry. Good to see you. I hope everything is still going well. Aw, thank you. Um, so yeah, just getting started. Hopefully today's will go um <clears throat> a little uh sweepy. Hopefully today will go a little bit better than yesterday. There's my Carrie, my sweet pea. Hi, excuse me, scratching. Um, yeah, I, yay, I'm so glad, Sherry. I'm really happy to hear that. So what shall we do today? Shall we play? You want to play with chalk paste? Let's do that. Um, for anybody that either comes on later or watches this later on if you don't mind please put hashtag uh replay that would be very helpful better to say yeah well um you know i've got so many pets here and i spend a lot more time outside now so and mosquitoes love me and uh what can i say what's not to love right whatever Anyway, so today we're going to use one of our little decorative cutting boards. Now, I'll read what it says on here because they say it's so much better than I can. Um, it says, uh, well, fuzz, 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 wax before. This item is for decorative purposes only and is not food safe. Need I repeat that? Is not food food safe. I will add a little disclaimer later on. So this is again a surface that needs to be waxed before using um, for a couple of reasons but can you tell it's a little bit shiny because I just got through waxing it. It's the cutest little thing and it'll fit any of our five by seven transfers and there are some into there is a transfer sheet. Correct. Thank you Sherry. Um, there are some transfers that were made specifically for these. Um, they're, it's called Sassy Sayings, and it's pretty cute. But I have also put them on um, tea towels, which we might make one of those later. Because the one I did last time, I did it on the towel upside down. Who knew that there was a little hanging loop on the towel? Who knew? Yeah, it's a cute paddle. Yeah, you behave, Miss Sweepy. Um, okay, but the transfer I decided to use is in the title of this video, and I am it's I don't do mornings, and so and if you know me, you know me, I don't do mornings, so we're gonna use some pieces of this um, transfer, not all the pieces of course. All right, so what we're gonna be using today, I already used the wax. Again, you don't have to use our surface wax. Any surface wax will do just fine, but you do want to put a little barrier between the paste and the board. It and it's just better for the transfer too. Um. Okay, where am I? Okay, so the parts we're gonna use off of this. Let me get it out of here. I have to be an engineer. Where did they? Honestly, really? All right. Sometimes the little flap is on the back. Sometimes the little flap is on the front. Who knows? Um, and because I almost forgot yesterday, I need to... Where's my little pen? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> <clears throat> I like to mark the back of the uh, backing sheets. And this has got a few pieces, so... I'll at least mark the ones I'm going to use. Where's that? There. And the reason I do that is because after you wash your transfers and you want to put them back on your backing sheets, how many times can I say back in a live? 
You want to count them? Don't. Um, for me, it's a whole lot easier to know this is not the side that I put the transfer on. Um, okay, so maybe you can see this better now because there's no plastic, but the parts that I'm going to use are the I Don't Do Mornings and the Rooster. Um, yes, I have chickens and I have among those chickens are a couple of roosters, uh, but luckily not nearly as many as they were last week. No roosters were harmed. They all just went to a new home. I know that's terribly important to y'all, but I just thought I would share that. Okay. So, here we go. It also says on the cutting board, remember, decorative cutting board, to fuzz your transfers well. So I will do that. I will fuzz my transfers really well. And to fuzz them, you merely get them off the backing. You know, it is going to be one of those days. You can see that, right? Okay. You just take them off the backing and put them on a towel. It does not have to be this nifty chalk couture towel. As I always say, I just, I just like them and I like teal. Yes, do not adjust your monitors. There really is teal in my hair. My hair. Um, oh good, you came off easier. So we will, we will do these. They actually don't feel horribly sticky. I apologize if you can hear my dogs in the background. I have dogs, I have cats, I have chickens. There's a squirrel that likes to bother the chickens. What else? I had a goat come visit me once. Well, hey, gorgeous, Helga, good to see you. How you doing? All right, so I hope you can, let me move the paste out of the way. I hope you can see this okay. I know it's upside down to you. Um, again, do I measure? Pfft, no. But it looks pretty darn close to me. So we're going to put that transfer down. And I'm going to go ahead and put the rooster on now too because um, they're not going to be, they're not, they shouldn't get in the way of each other. Shouldn't is the operative word. Because with me, <laughs> you just never know. No, you don't. Now, I will try to do this upside down so you can see it right side up for you. And hopefully we have a, a decent angle. So I'm going to do the I don't do mornings in our bright white. And our rooster is in daffodil. So we'll see how it goes. What you think? Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Let me get out my <laughs> baby wipes. Come out. I don't know how many at a time, but as you can see, it was not one at a time. Um, that's just for me to put my stuff on. Um, all righty. Shall we start? Yes, we shall. So this is our creamy, dreamy chalk paste. It's washable. It's creamy. It's a dreamy. Huh? It's not paint. It's chalk paste. It is not paint. And here's what it looks like in the jar. I'll show you on the yellow, too. It is chalk paste paste and it's made in-house by Chalk Couture, very proprietary kind of thing. This new formula rarely dries out. Um, if it should, you would add just a squirt or two of distilled water. Um, but the only way I can see that it would um, would be if you left the top open. And as I said, it's washable. Now, some of the darker colors, 
the highly pigmented ones, um, they can leave a little something behind because they're so darkly pigmented. <clears throat> okay, so all I did was put a little bit of paste on here. This is so weird. Let's do this upside down. And all I'm gonna do is go through the silk screen because that's what these are. These are not stencils. These are silk screens. So all I'm doing is drawing it across the silk screen area. I want to make sure I get everything. And as you can see, you don't use much paste at all. So these jars go a long, long, long way. And then I scrape up the excess. And then I get my arm in the way and we're going to do a little peel and reveal. Ta-da! Just amazing. Look how cute that is. Um, because I don't have running water down here, I'm in the basement. <laughs> it's the only place I'm safe. And I don't use baby wipes on the transfers. But you can use um, Clorox wipes, Lysol wipes, those kind of things. So I'm just laying it over the transfer so it doesn't dry out. So the paste doesn't dry out. Oh, thank you, sweet pea. Ooh. Ah, you know I love that part. All right, so now, you know, I was going to try to get all fancy with the rooster and use different colors and all that stuff, but I don't want to. Um, I wonder if I want them a little lower. Let's see. Nah, good enough. I'm a good enough kind of person. All right, so now here we go with our daffodil. You'd think I could remember for 15 seconds, but <laughs> not me. I don't think I've used this one. I have not. Ooh, a first. Come on. There you go. And you just stir it up a little bit. Now, maybe you can see even better on this, the consistency. It's, it's yummy. There. It's just yummy. Creamy, dreamy. Um kind of like you know I used to say yogurt or cake batter but this reminds me of icing yum it is a really pretty color thanks I think so too again this is going to use so little that we'll just put a little bit there and I'm using our little mini squeegee for this one again just put a little bit there and just Pull it over. You don't have to press really hard. I mean, you do want to get it through the, you know, through the silk screen. But you honestly don't have to pull very hard and or press very hard or do whatever. And then you remove the excess, put it back in the jar for next time. And then we do another... Peel and reveal. Ooh. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stick that under my little wipe so I can get it. We're done. We're finished. That's it. It's very simple. It's a real. <laughs> Thank you. It's a very simple. I didn't go. I didn't choose anything that was great detail. Um, I don't do morning, so it's relevant to me. Um, now, on the board it says single use, and what they mean is that you the paste won't wash off of this to reuse the item. However, comma, I would say that this board has another side. So, you could put something else on the other side. So, I know when they say single use, what they mean is you can't wash it off and put something else there. But what I think is that it really is two uses because you can put something else on the other side. So, if you were one that, you know, if you were going to do some holiday decorating or something, you could do some, you know, you could do a, 
I don't know, a Christmas or a seasonal on one side. And you could do a sort of a generic kind of thing. Um, you know, I could put some little stripes on here. I could do whatever. But I'm not going to. Now, to go back to where I had that, I, I mentioned a disclaimer earlier. Um, thank you, a big turkey. Yes, exactly. You could do a Thanksgiving and a Christmas. That would be really, really cute. Karen, who are you calling a big turkey? I don't know if I should be offended. All right, I'm kidding. Um, it is simple. All you need is to ask me, Helga, to store, to store which, do you mean your paste? It's fine. And prep, just all you got to do is ask me because we're buds. You're like special bud from way back, right? So, you know, if you have any questions, just let me know. And yes, it is that simple. Um, oh, back to the disclaimer. Um, if, after this is dry, it's almost dry. Um, once this is completely dry, if you spray it with a polyurethane sealer, there are several, most polyurethane sealers are food safe. So you don't want to use this as a cutting board ever because this is just too soft. Uh, it, it's like MDF with a something on it. However, comma, um, you could put, you could spray it with a um, lacquer. And if you need a name, I can get it for you. Um, and then you could use this for uh, as a how what do they say Char charcuterie board am i saying that right um but you could do it for like little cheeses or whatever you could you uh, you could put you know fruit and whatever on it so it would be super cute um anyway that's really all i have um if any we do have a um club couture which is a subscription based um club where every month you get a uh, an exclusive transfer. Yeah. Um, hold that thought, Sherry. You get an exclusive transfer and you get three paste packets. That, they're the individual packets that look like this. Um, and you get, there's, you can go on YouTube. It'll give you the link. Um, yes, Karen, let me go back to that. Anyway, I should finish one thought at a time, correct? Not me. Anyway, um, it's less than $20 and that includes shipping and everything, um, U.S. And every month you get, um, you get an exclusive transfer and the pastes. Um, and if you do join the club, I usually send you a little some something too um i think when you sign up you're you're confirming for to do three months and then after that you can quit anytime you want to but for 20 bucks and you can be putting together your pace collections and your transfer collections that way so it's pretty fun it's a really good way to get started and these pace packets you won't use the whole thing so what you do is you, when you open it, you just put out a little paste um, on a plate and then you roll this up and tape it or whatever and um, save it for the next time you want to use it. It's also a good way to find out what colors you like. If you really like using, you know, these products, it, it, it really is a good way. Um, which one? Can you see the what if you fly? Let me show you something. You don't get, oh, you're probably getting a really good shot. I'm sorry. You don't get any surfaces. You don't have to use our surfaces. You can use anything. You can get them at, at Dollar Tree. You can get all kinds of stuff. Um, you can do it on cardboard. This was one of our um, club transfers. I'm trying to see. I have others laying around, but. I don't know. Anyway, but this was one of them. And it's, I love this one. 
Um, so, yeah, it's a good deal. So, if you want any more information on that, just let me know. All right, now let me go back. Can you do something on, like, a straw mat? Absolutely, you can do these on a straw mat. Um, you would, I would probably use the ink, probably, rather than the paste. Um, can you use a stencil was another question. Um, probably. I don't know that you're going to get as crisp a lines as you do going through silk screen. Um, and I would still want the, um, the stencil to be adhesive. So I would spray it with that. You don't spray the, you in our case, if you need, if something's not sticky anymore and you need it to stick again, you would spray the surface. Um, I, I suppose you could do it the same way on a stencil, but you would want it to adhere really well before you pull chalk through it. Um, I just honestly can't tell you how well, how crisp your lines would be. Yeah, and you don't want to do like the stencil with a pouncing kind of thing because you'll get the... Uh, paste is a little bit thicker and so you would unless you want that texture in which case it would be just fine let's see what else something about club membership i'm just sitting here rambling it's pretty funny something else about club membership is anytime you order uh, i think it's 4.95 for shipping um anytime you order any other products and let me tell you that's a better deal than I get as a designer. I pay way more than, okay, not way more than, but I it is considerably more than four ninety five. But you have flat rate shipping when you buy um, other products, and I would say out of twelve months, there's ten that'll have something special just for um, Club Couture members. There might be a special that if you do this, you get this or um, that kits will be 20% off or there's all kinds of things. If you have any questions, please contact me. Helga, if you have some questions about prep or whatever, you know how to find me. You know how to find me so easy. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and shut down. This was our item for today. I hope you like it. Something really simple, really quick. Um, but I just wanted to show you again, especially in the beginning of the sales, I like to do the super easy stuff. Um, and also I just like to do the super easy stuff. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Um, again, if you come on later, please put hashtag replay. Uh, if you're interested in hearing more about the club or you want me to send you a link to more information, just put club, um, if you, you know, if you're interested in being a designer, put designer. Okay. Alrighty. So I will see you tomorrow. It will be tomorrow evening. I think seven o'clock, but I will confirm. And if you have some ideas of, you know, if you have any special requests, if I can do it, I will. Okay. Thank you. Bye.